Wow, that's part of the show. Thank you so much. How's everybody doing? Oh, fun fact, this is how I got through quarantine. Very exciting. My name is Nick Paul. I'm a magician. I'm going to show you some fake magic tricks. You guys want to see some fake magic tricks? That's good. Don't know how to do the real ones. This is true. I'm a magician. Uh, my dad's a ventriloquist. My brother's a comedian. So we just find new and exciting ways of disappointing my mom. <laughs> You know, I, I say fake magic, but I do want to instill a little bit of mystery and wonder in your lives tonight. That's something we gave up about 25 years ago. We all agreed to have magic phones in our pockets at all times. But, uh, you know, I'll never forget what my grandfather said to me. He said, son, one day you're going to grow up, but it's very important you don't lose that sense of wonder in your life. And as he stood there in the nude, I learned two things that day. <laughs> One, I need to buy my grandfather a robe. And two, the element of surprise fills life with wonder. Now, I don't have magical powers. I'm not a wizard. I'm just a man with a lot of free time. But I hope even if it's for a brief instant, you get to feel that sense of wonder here tonight. Now, with that said, you guys know what time it is? Hey. <laughs> I like the person in the back. Hey, we got Fonzie here. Fonzie. Jukebox turns on. It's great. Uh, magic time close. It's also prize time. We got some prizes here. Who wants to win a prize? I think I have a few here. Let's see here. Hi, sir. What's your name? Dan. Hi, Dan. Now, Dan, we didn't set this up in any way, shape, or form. Now we don't know each other. Dan, whatever you choose, I'll give you. Five. Going five? You want to change your mind? No. Going five Z's? All right. Five for my new friend Dan. Let's see what Dan wins, shall we? This is exciting. Oh, this is good. It's a smile. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see this, but he's giving me the best creepy smile I've ever seen. So good. It's so good. Thank you, Dan. Big round of applause for Dan, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Good job, Dan. Yes. Uh, who here likes animals? Any animal lovers? Yeah. Good. Non-vegans in the room. I like it. I like it. I have a whole bunch of... Uh, Different uh, animals here. A list of animals, if you will. Um, we got uh, you guys in the front. You'll be the eyes of the audience here. We got a uh, uh, cat, a uh, deer, fish, turtle, uh, seal, rabbit, uh, wombat, bird. A whole bunch of different options here. Uh, hi, what's your name? Gabby. Hi, Gabby. You're going to hold it like this. Just take a peek at one animal. When you got one, say yes. Yes. Perfect. Keep that animal inside your brain at all times. If you forget it, this is a really stupid trick. I'll be honest with you. I'll leave it right there. Now, I, uh, I actually took a photo of an animal, placed it right here inside my case. Gabby, would you be impressed if you saw your animal on the other side of this photo? Pretty cool, right? Um, now, I don't want to give you any hints, but I, um, I hope I fetched the right answer. It's the leashed. I can do. <laughs> if I get it wrong, I'm not going to roll over. <laughs> These jokes kill on cruise ships. All right. Um, Gabby, I was thinking of a dog. Yes or no, Gabby, were you thinking of a dog? Yes. <laughs> well, that's awkward because uh, this is actually my dog. Yeah, his name is Rolo. He's a wiener dog. This is his headshot. He does Petco commercials. LA is a weird place, what can I say? Uh, Gabby, you had a choice of like 20 or 30 animals. What was the animal you took a peek at? Lobsters. One more time? Lobsters. A lobster? A lobster? Very common animal, the lobster. <laughs> Can't take that for walks, that'd be dish, uh, dangerous. Uh, Chicago known for its lobster. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, why don't, we, uh, why don't we compromise? You wanted a lobster, I wanted a dog. How about a dog and a lobster cop? You ain't nothing but a lobster. Keep it going for Gabby, ladies and gentlemen. Lobster Gabby. Oh. That was a close one. That was a close one, Gabby. Uh, it's true, I live in Los Angeles, the land of broken dreams and Botox. And uh, my wife is a vegetarian, which means I'm a part-time vegetarian. Um, I was inspired by the cuisine there, so I put together a little routine that I call non-vegan magic.
not going to drink it? Okay. He's like, no, I'm just going to. You look, you're the most terrified ever. Do you not want the egg? You, you begin, here you go. There you go, Dad. There's your prize. There's your prize. That's how I don't clean it up. It's good. Um, anybody here have any tattoos? Any, ta any tattoo friends there? You got a tattoo? What kind of tattoo you got, egg lady? Darth Vader. Darth Vader. <laughs> You're saying ask her where? I'm a little bit afraid to ask her where, just the way she said Darth Vader. Okay. Where is it at? Oh On her ass. I know. <laughs> Very nice. Keeping it classy, Chicago. Keeping it classy. <laughs> You're getting pointed to right here. So with the glasses, what kind of tattoo do you have? Just a quality sign. A quality sign. Oh, equality sign. I thought you said a quality sign. I was like, oh, just a sign that says quality on it. I'm a quality person. Equality. I love it. That's perfect. That's great. That's great. Uh, my wife and I recently got tattoos for a seven-year wedding anniversary. Very exciting. Oh, thank you. In LA, that's like a hundred years. So we're like really proud of that. Um, but I got to be honest, I was not a tattoo person. I was terrified of getting a tattoo. Our, our favorite uh, animated film is Wally, so I got a little Wally. She got a little Eve. I know, it's friggin' adorable, right? But l like I said, I'm not a tattoo person. I was terrified of the tattoo because the idea of putting something on my arm that doesn't change really freaked me out. Because if you think about it, the only thing constant is change. The only thing permanent isn't permanent. So the idea of having that on my arm and it not changing messed with me. So I'm like, I, I got to put it in the show in some way, shape, or form. So I'm going to do that. Um, but we do need to get a playing card at random. But let's see here. Hi, Miss. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole. Nicole, do you have an animated film that comes to mind? Yeah. What is it? Toy Story, great film. N Nicole, we don't know each other. Could you point to somebody that we also, you don't know and I don't know? Her. 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 Hi, her. What's your name? Hi, Sophie. So if you're going to get a card, a whole bunch of different cards here. Different, 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 different. So if you were going to do this like one at a time there, just so you have a free choice, whatever you feel like it, Sophie, you're going to say stop. So do this one at a time. Anytime you feel like it, go ahead and say stop there, Sophie. But so you know, the longer you go, the longer the show. Stop. It, Okay, now it's kind of in between cards. I'm going to have you <laughs> free choice here. Do you want the one I set on the stool or the one I was about to deal? This one right here. Can okay, we do this slowly so you don't think I'm cheating or anything? Take a peek at it. Got it. Memorize it. Don't forget it. Keep it inside your brain. Perfect. That's going to go right here. Just so you know, a whole bunch of different cards, a whole bunch of different uh, choices as well. Um, now, I said I got a little Wally. I'm not lying. But what's interesting about this Wally is he is holding on to something quite interesting. He's holding on to uh, something tiny. Thank you, I know. It's the eight o'clock show, guys. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> 11 o'clock show it gets nuts, all right? <laughs> Got a little Wally right here. He's holding on to something very tiny, something very minute, something very specific. He's holding on to a playing card right there, yes. Check out, he's holding on to a playing card. Miss, what is the card he's holding on to? Five of hearts, and what was your card? Three of hearts. This is why I didn't want a tattoo, ladies and gentlemen. I have commitment issues with the tattoo. Ah, uh, you're the three of hearts, you say? Three of hearts? Yeah, it's close. That's pretty good. That's uh, it's off by two. Off by, thank you. Thank you, golf claps. I appreciate it. Everybody's disappointed right now. Um, Darth Vader lady, you might be able to verify this. They say once you get one tattoo, you start wanting more tattoos. Did you get another tattoo? Kind of, yeah, sorry, that's, I never understood that. So I got another tattoo. <laughs> Off by two. <laughs> and my other favorite film is Toy Story. Uh, I have something here that has plagued many people. Who here, by round of applause, can solve a Rubik's Cube? Right there, how fast can you solve it? A minute and a half, whoa, look at this guy. Showing off. And you're here with a lady, congratulations. You did it, well done, well done. There's hope for all of us, sir, there's hope for all of us. How quickly can you solve it? Two years. <laughs> Just a casual cube. I was like, yeah, all right, we'll come back in a few months. It'll be fine. Just, I, uh, I have a cube here. Yeah, I'm going to give this to you. Uh, mix, I, I, I didn't get too far. I got the white side there. So uh, mix that up there and uh, be gentle with it, but you can mix it up, go crazy. I, uh, 
I can't always remember the algorithms for the Rubik's Cube. I mix it up from time to time, and then I can't kind of get it back. It's hard for me to remember. But what's interesting about a mixed-up cube is that there's over 40 quintillion different combinations to a cube. You can do this. You can Google this, 40 quintillion, which means that that's more than there are grains of sand on Earth, more stars in the Milky Way galaxy. So we're going to create something unique, and you're, just, you're drinking now, so you're clearly done. You're like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Does that feel good? Would you like to? You, you twist it one more time, anywhere you want. Right there, or, or three more times. That's good too. That's good. Perfect. Now you created a unique thing, a unique cube right here, which is pretty neat. And uh, we're going to solve this cube as if by magic. I'm going to set it right here. And uh, I'm going to use the mystical, magical bag from Target. Ooh, ah, yes. On sale. Okay, it's going to go inside the bag here. Now the world record for solving a cube is about 4.6 seconds. I'm gonna try to do it in five, okay? Whenever you feel like it, count backwards from five. five. <laughs> Did it. You wanna see? You wanna see? Wow, look at that. A miracle of modern science. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you. Kara, do you have any theories as to how this works? You just wanna know? Okay, wow, this, this is pretty good. I could close with this right now. The drunken section is really impressed. The sober section is like there's another cube in the back. Yo, yes, what is your question? I want you to drop your other hand. That's a very, that's not a question. That's like more of a statement. <laughs> to hold okay, yeah, okay, drunk lady. Okay, yes, yeah, there's another cube in the bag. Oh, man. I have to work a little bit harder for you people. Yeah, there's two cubes in there. You were amazed for a brief second, and then I took it away. I'm so sorry. Here, we'll get rid of this one. Um, you, you mixed up this cube, which is pretty good. I'm interested in the randomness of the cube, the, the chaos of things. I met my wife by randomness. I, uh, this is true. We actually met here in Chicago at Columbia College. Yeah. That's cool. Um, I got off at the wrong floor at an elevator. I was supposed to get off at 11. I got off at 12. Some days she wishes I took the steps, but you know, that's another conversation. But this is, this is the cube you created, and before the show, I actually created my own cube. It's been sitting there on the stool. Would you like to see it? Um, now, I'm, I'm interested in the randomness of things, the chaos. I'm going to give you a little bit uh, of uh, perfection with your mixed up cube. <laughs> Empty bag. <laughs> Souvenir. Keep it going for her, ladies and gentlemen. Let her hear it. Uh, I got a deck of cards here. This is important. This is important. I, uh, I'm interested in this idea of coincidence. Depending on how you look at it, a coincidence can either be life-changing or meaningless. So we're going to try something right now with coincidence. I want to get uh, a playing card. We've got a playing card here. Let's get one really at random here. Uh, let's see here. You sit right there. Oh, what was your name? Blake. Hi, Blake. Give me a number between 1 and 13. 13. 13. Love you. So that is a, uh, that's a king. Um, so let's uh, point to, uh, uh, we'll get someone over here. You sir, right there with the glasses, uh, red or black? Red. Red, so it's a, a red king, great. And miss right there, uh, hearts or diamonds? Diamonds. King of diamonds, lovely. King of diamonds will be uh, right here. And uh, Blake, yeah, Blake, I'm gonna have you hold on to the king of diamonds. We'll come back to this in just a moment. Oh, there it is, right there on the bottom. King of diamonds. Blake, do me a favor, keep it face up. Keep it face up, we'll get to that in a moment. I'm gonna set these cards right here. I will show them to you momentarily. And also, if you have a tele uh, telephone with a calculator, open it. Please don't check Facebook. Please don't check Facebook. But I would like, if you don't mind, to open up your calculator app. And I have a scroll of paper here. If you don't mind, could you hold on to that for me? It's going to be important in just a moment. Everybody open up the calculator app. Perfect. You got mine right here. Let's get a, uh, a random number. Let's see here. What, what's your name? Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, give me a single digit. Six. Six. 
Everybody type in six and then multiply. Great. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mr. Either, hi. Give me a two digit number. 12. Perfect. Everybody type in 12 and then multiply. That gets us to 72. That's basic arithmetic right there. <laughs> let's see here. Uh, dude right here with the glasses. Hi, I need a three digit number. The pin for your debit card, if you don't mind. Nice and loud. 103. Perfect. Everybody type in 103 and then hit equals. That should be 7,416. Yeah, we good so far? Good so far? I'm going to hit plus, and if you don't mind, could you type a few uh, numbers at random? Don't even look at it. Type about six, five or six times. Don't even look at it. Perfect. Um, we're going to add this number. Add this number. Everybody add 310121. 310121. I'm going to hit equals. I get a bigger number. I have 317537. What do you have? Same thing? Three one seven five three seven. You did you got I did it wrong. You did something very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, but I saw like a ten oh, digit number on it. Okay, good. I appreciate it. I'm glad somebody was paying. Good, all good. Uh, we need to get, lock this number in. Somebody tell it to me. Let's write it down, shall we? A marker here. Perfect. Um, let's see, what was the uh, what was the number? Three one seven. Okay. Three one seven. Perfect. I feel like we're at an AA meeting. Great. <laughs> five, three, seven. Good. Three, one, seven. Five, three, seven. Good. We'll get to this in a moment. Excellent. Yes. Okay. She likes it. No? Okay. Good. Um, I, uh, I told you. I'm interested in this idea of coincidence. I wrote something down before the show began, and I gave it to you. A scroll of paper, if you will. Hold on to that. Let's check it out. See what it is. I know, right? I know. <laughs> Suspense is killing me. I wrote down. Congrats, Leslie! Where is she? Where is we missed her birthday in the uh, in between? We're calling on the birthday. Where's Leslie? Is she here? Where's Leslie? Is she here up in the balcony, perhaps? But uh, no. She's not here. That's the eleven o'clock. You guys come back to the 11. That's gonna be really. It was like her birthday or something. It was really. Very, that was like her. The King of Diamonds was her favorite card, and this was her pin. It was. It was really impressive. It was really cool. Um, okay, uh, let's, let's backtrack. Let me make and fix this. Uh, backtrack. Backtrack. Uh, coincidence. Uh, connection. Qu oh wait, you guys all picked a uh, a playing card. And oh, what's interesting about this deck of cards is they all have uh, this is neat, all different names on them. So Will would have been like the Seven of Hearts. We got Rick. Matt, Scott would have been the seven of spades there. Mary, Sarah, Manny, Taylor. A whole bunch of different names, a whole bunch of different choices there. And we, uh, we kind of went through the audience and got one completely at random. And you're holding on to that card, if you don't mind. Look at the back of it. <laughs> What's the name of that card? Uh, Leslie. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Three people are impressed right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's clearly just a magic trick. This is coincidence. We found her! She was here the whole time. Thank you. You can throw that away later. Oh, boy. I don't know how we, uh, that, that could have been bad. Could have been bad. Oh dear. Jeez Louise. You guys want to see one more? Good. I'm contractually obligated, so uh, we'll do it anyway. If you like me, my name is Nick Paul, at Real Nick Paul on the Instagram. If you didn't like me, my name is Chris Angel, at. <laughs> he loves the attention. He's a very nice man. Very nice man. Uh, I, got, uh, I got one more thing for you. I know, I think for many of us, it's been a weird uh, couple of rotations around the sun. Um, you know, I think like many of us have, have experienced loss. I'm sure many of us have. Uh, lots of ups and downs. Lots of, uh, you know, like midlife crises happening. This is true. I, actually, I went to therapy school for a week to get my master's in psychology and then, <laughs> and then quit because I figured myself out. 
Uh, this is also true. I, I purchased a Tesla and then 45 minutes later returned to Tesla. Uh, March was a very complicated time for me. But if I'm struggling with the anxiety and if the world feels like it's a bit too much, I, I do look for the kindness in others. Uh, one of my favorite phrases is kindness is magic. And you mentioned Toy Story earlier and that made me think of just something else completely random, but just the idea of giving thanks is, is something that comes along a lot for me. So kindness is magic. Uh, that's kind of like a, a form of magic you get to experience in the real world, kind of what we as magicians are imitating here up on stage. So if I could wrap up my little mini magic TED talk here for you, <laughs> I'd say be kind to one another and give thanks. And I'll show you what I mean right now. My name is Nick Ball. Thanks for coming out. Nick Paul, everyone! Nick Paul!